Hello and welcome back to Lightning Gaming everybody. So guys, I decided to make this video for in case you guys are targeting a specific weapon in the unnamed city that you guys want to get so that you have a better idea which boss to kill to get it. So in this video I'm gonna kill each and every one of the unnamed city bosses 10 times and we're gonna see what they drop after killing them all 10 the times. Ok guys, so if you want to see where to find the Sword of Chrome or any other weapon that I drop, just stick with me and you will know by the end of this video. So here we go. So we're gonna start with the Flame Guardian and that will be the first boss we're gonna do. As you can see I spawned in 10 Flame Guardians. Now we're just gonna kill them all. I'm not gonna keep the movie going while I kill them, I'm just gonna show you after I kill them all, ok guys, so the flame guardian dropped one sort of chrome like you see over here, it also dropped a specter's pain, a ghast axe, a quake, and another specter's pain, and then we also have a few armor pieces like you can see over here, just scroll through them quickly for you guys. And then we also got a bunch of raw materials, including some padding and then just a bunch of random just raw materials, as well as some dragon powder and the Grandmaster repair kit as well. Ok guys, so the next one is the Brute, I also spawned in 10 of those, get the accurate reading on those as well. So once again I'm just gonna skip to the end when I killed all of them. Hey guys and as you can see over here we've got a predatory blade, actually two predatory blades. We also have the sack, also a great weapon and then also a bunch of armor. The helmet of the brute and the gauntlets of the brute. And then once again we've got some padding. You see over here some dragon powder, some golem parts, and then just a bunch of raw materials as well as some 10 fragments of powder. By the way, all of them drops fragments of powder, so that's nothing. I'm not gonna count that in every movie. Guys, so next up we have the commander. Okay, so I'm just gonna skip to the end again after I killed all of them. Show you guys what we got. Guys, so we have the bastard sword, we have the heated argument, and then we have the ghast sword again, specter's brain, some random armor like you see over here. I'm just gonna slowly scroll through them so you guys can see what they do. Once again we've got 10 fragments of power and a bunch of raw materials and building materials. Okay, so the next one is the Grave Walker, the blue skeleton guy. I'm gonna skip to the end for you guys again quickly. This time we've got the corrupted axe, two of those. Also got the Spectre's Bane again, and then also some armor. Scroll slowly through them, so you can see the effects and the stats this armors are giving. We have two sealed, black task sealed, two column parts as well, ten fragments of powder, Mo Grandmaster armor kit, weapon repair kit and a bunch of resources as well. Ok, so next up is the Red Mother, also spawned in 10 of those, which I am gonna go into quickly. So that you guys can see after killing 10 of the Red Mothers what you will get. Ok, we've got the Blade of 7 Winds, which is actually Great Katana, we have the Lifeblood Spear, two of those. 
We have one in reach of the Red Mother, the best bow in the game, and two of the final breath of the Red Mother, which is torches, which last very very long. Also have two great eyes and some armor parts like you can see over here, some helmets. Once again we've got 10 fragments of power. Grandmaster armor repair kit and a bunch of random resources including golem parts. Now for the next boss, the Watcher. Also spent in two of the ten of those for you guys. Gonna kill them all quickly and show you guys what we got. Guys, so we've got the Lying Bastard Sword. We've got Hated Argument again. We've got the Corrupted Axe again. We've got the Milestorm, first Milestorm so far. We've got the Rage Hammer, also the first one, and then we have a bunch of armors again. You can see right over here, some masks. We once again have some padding, some column parts, and then a bunch of normal resources. Okay guys, so next up is the Wrangler. Also spawned in 10 of those, which we are, are going to kill quickly. We go. Okay guys, so once again we have a quake out of that one. We have two cast eggs. We have a heated argument. We have a drunkard blade. Corrupted eggs. Some helmets. Some other armors as well, let me scroll through them quickly for you guys. Some star metal and some padding and some more random resources. As well as stem fragments of power again. And the last one is the wing death. This is the only one by the way that drops the pike that let you breathe underwater. And we got two of the reptiles, which is the bike I was talking about. We've got 95 quivering arrows. We have a black feathery helmet, 10 fragments of power, a golem ball, and some more resources as well as dragon powder and grandmaster repair kits. Yeah guys, okay, so that is all the bosses in the unknown city. I hope that makes it easier for you guys to know for which to go to get what weapon you need and see you guys in the next video